The stakes are high for Democrats in the state Senate this November. Republicans have essentially controlled the governor's office in both houses of the legislature since 2010. Republicans currently hold an 18 to 15 majority in the Senate, but Democratic Party leaders say they have a real shot at being the majority party in the Senate when it reconvenes early next year. Joining me now is Senate Minority Leader Jennifer Schilling of La Crosse. And Senator, it's good to have you back on the program. Thank you. Let's talk uh, about the uh, upcoming races. Uh, but first, I do have to ask you about the Kimberly Clark incentive package and, and what the status of that is. First of all, do you, is it moving forward at all? Are Democrats on board with this at all? I have not had any substantial conversation with either Senator Roth or Senator Fitzgerald on this matter. In fact, I haven't talked to the majority leader since a few days after they caucused in, in the Dells, and he indicated it would be a really heavy lift for his caucus to get there. Uh, so my door is open. They know where the office is, and they, they seem to be a little rudderless trying to figure out if they've got enough votes in their own caucus or where they need to be. Uh, so at this point, we're still uh, waiting. They're in the majority. They could call us back and they've already killed the bill once earlier this spring by not taking it up before we adjourned. Uh, but we certainly want to support workers in this state. We as Democrats want to uh, include uh, language that Senator Hansen has uh, introduced about a, a paper uh, workers mm. uh, industry revolving loan that as we want to take a broader view of looking at how so do we help. So more than just Kimberly Clark. Yes, yeah. and how, how do we have a, a greater impact for this industry around the state? And the paper maker revolving fund would certainly add to, add to that. It would help the industry as a whole rather than one corporation. Let's talk about the uh, November election and, and what the chances are that the Democrats can regain control of the Senate. Um, obviously, you have to be optimistic. How optimistic are you and why? Well, we've started out at Senate Democrats had two special elections uh, earlier this year, and we were successful in both of them. Great candidates in the 10th with uh, Patty Schachner and in June with Caleb Frostman in the 1st. Uh, we have, are excited. Clearly, there is momentum. There is enthusiasm. We find ourselves in, in an environment where uh, Democrats are excited. And in many of the areas, uh, just this spring, the Rebecca Dallet race demonstrates that three out of the six seats that we are targeting, she won. And so we are looking to swing some solidly red seats in the past to a uh, Democratic position and Democratic hold uh, in the fall. Are you worried at all by the fact that this will be a much larger turnout than there, there certainly was in the, the special elections? Um, in some of these districts, they have been historically Republican. Are you worried that when November comes, more people go to the polls and more of them are Republicans. Well, historically, Democrats do well when there are more voters going to the polls. And we have seen just the most recent Marquette poll uh, earlier this week at uh, the numbers for Tony Evers, for Tammy Baldwin, uh, some of the issues that they have polled on. We've been talking about the need for infrastructure in this state and what we need to do. Uh, that is, Democrats, if we regain the majority in the state Senate, we want to talk about infrastructure. We want to talk about uh, improving our roads and our bridges it's broadband, it's, it's schools in our community. So I think... Uh, You're not talking about President Trump, are you? No, we, mm -hmm. we don't need to. That uh, people have been dissatisfied uh, with an agenda that has been put forward, that uh, the Republicans have really been the, the triple threat over the last eight years, having control of the Assembly, the Senate, and the Governor's office. And I think people are fatigued, they are disillusioned, they're frustrated with that triple threat, that things have not gotten done in this state. You have more women running for the Senate uh, this year. Is that merely a coincidence or is that intentional? You're looking for women to run for political office. I think a lot has happened just in the political environment in the last two years uh, that many more women are stepping up and they're not waiting for someone to maybe tap them on the shoulder and suggest, you know, we see leadership potential in you. That I think the last two years has been a wake-up call for many people uh, in, in Wisconsin, across the country, but particularly in women. That women have said, we want to be at the table. That we have an experience, we have our, you know, something's lacking from the discussion and it's the viewpoint and the voices of, of women. Jennifer Schilling is the Democrat from La Crosse, the Senate Minority Leader. It's good to have you back on the program. Thank you. And we'll note that Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald will join us on Upfront next month. Coming up next on Upfront, mobilizing Wisconsin's young voters to pledge to get more than 30,000 young people to the polls. Is it realistic?